Okay guys, bit of a teaser for the next build after the Lysander, <coughs> which is, uh, I've got loads and loads of video for that, I don't know how to edit it, but something completely different, but this is just um, a detailing part, I guess you'd call it, for it, made by Edward. It's a lightning pod. I think it's one of these laser designator things. So I'm not gonna say what's going on at the moment, but I thought we'd just have a very quick build of this. There's not a lot to it. So, consists of a resin body, as you can see, and obviously the designator that uh, just clips in the front very nicely there, and then it can move around. So that, a couple of bits of photo etch, and and some decals for it as well. Quite a few for such a small thing. <laughs> you can see those okay. Anyway, first job is to uh, separate these uh, off of the casting blocks. Yep, and it's resin and you shouldn't breathe the resin dust in, I know. So let's get a small saw blade. So what we'll do, get a bit of water, drop over it and the knife and then just start gently cutting. Let's one leave a bit of the block for Careful with this one. Ready to clean. <coughs> so our next job is obviously to carefully try and clean this up with a good sanding stick. Again, a bit of water. I'm going to call that it. Find a bit that I dropped. <coughs> so, all right, I think I can probably nail this off a bit before I start cutting. This time I'm going to use a sponge, for obvious reasons. then this thing can rotate to point at the target but I don't know I presume they can have to go in a dive because it doesn't seem to like it twiddles up and down right that. Oh, and these are the same I assume uh, do -do -do, just fits on there like so this out Must 
cut that out very well because I can't feel any other tags. Well, obviously it goes that way because that way is a bit plain looking. So time for a bit of the old super glue. stick a little bit of it off because it's caught a bit on there because you know what's going to happen as soon as I stick it through it's going to go through those um, the mesh and stick to my finger really well and that's it and that is the construction of that finished so the next job give it a little, a little bit of a wipe down with some IPA put the lid back on the water IPA mold release agent I must admit it is very not a nice piece of casting so I'm going to try and <coughs> I don't know whether I should put a little bit of filler in there or am I being too fussy Okay, for priming I'm just using some Ultimate Primer Black and it's a Steinol Res repackaged. I've got the grey but it seems to clog up my airbrush all the time. So just give a quick squirt in there, so that ought to be enough. Check our flow. Right, and I'm gonna do the rotating head end first. Doesn't really need doing, but I'll do inside here. I've rubbed this over with a, a, a sander just to try and give it something key to the grass it's going to come off of that quite easily the paint I'll give it a quick oh, as soon as you stop with this stuff give it a quick blast over and hopefully let's see how well this goes Dusty coat there we go, so it's popping again. I don't think they've invented a decent primer to go to an airbrush yet. really 
doesn't have to. But hopefully that hand's dry enough to handle. does, although I don't like spraying it, it does go down well. So, got to wait for that to dry now. Okay, so we're back. We've given this a bit of time to dry off. It feels like it's dry enough to paint over. I've put the, uh, whatever you call it, back in again. These two lenses, one's got to be sandy yellow, which I haven't got, and clear blue, and I don't think we've got clear blue either. But they the main colour for the body, which they call out as um, 305, 305, which is gunship grey, I think, or something, FS36118. So I'll give this a bit of a shake, I'm not going to need a lot of it. <laughs> charge the compressor back up again. Let's put the little extra bits back in there. This is pushing myself on the next kit working with resin. Uh, well more resin. There's resin in the last angle as well. But uh, you know what I mean. I'm trying to do a bit more. I've got to admit that I do think that I may have messed the canopy up on the Lysander. Um, it looked like when I was gluing it, a bit of glue went under the masking tape, so I've got a feeling that it's going to have frosted it, but never mind. Um, by our mistakes. So, I'm going to use a little bit of a levelling thinner in this. the evolution back on. It's around 20 psi if that's 20. So as I say not gonna need a lot of this so we'll go about a quarter of a milliliter a bit less and then Good quarter of a mill of paint, and that's far too much. Look at that, nearly a cupful. Mix it up. Thank you for that. Excuse me. That was my flat intercom. Somebody trying to give me some food. Maybe I should have said yes. <laughs> right, back to what we were doing. Check my flow. Good. Again, let's try to this one. Another reason I use the black primer is grey on grey. Being colour blind, it just does not show up. I find it hard to see. And I've covered the whole thing. All these little lips and latches have got to be painted steel, so I'll find a steel paint that I can brush by. Just dry that back again. I'm always getting food deliveries. There's two blocks of flats here. 
Both are the same name, both are the same numbers. The only difference is the road number. <laughs> I must say, you can't beat Tamiya and Mr. Hobby colour paints. They spray really, really well. These other things, I've not tried proper bodies, proper lack of ones, aren't they? But they do spray really, really well. Don't, these acrylic paints are good, they you know, smell better in your flat, but my goodness, they don't like spraying very well. Or well, they're difficult to spray. And I also find they rub off easily. I mean, you can also see, sort of, rub some of the paint off of the brass already. Back in the days when I built railway kits, we used to call, use an etching primer, which was, um, we used to be able to get one pack etching primers, which kind of, as I say, they etch their way into the brass and they give a really good key for the, uh, for the paint. Anyway, there you go, one lightning, lantern, pod, whatever you like to call it, paint it up. So I'll quickly try and paint these latches in. I tried using a silver pencil, but it didn't seem to work. So a little bit of Games Workshop, some Citadel paint range, Mithril, not Mithril, Runefang steel. Let's see how we get on. Uh, so this latch is done okay well this paint looks like it's dry I've painted as you saw the silver latches um, about to give it a gloss coat for the decals using our clad aqua gloss which i really like nice easy one to apply it's quite forgiving don't know if i'll be able to do all this in one go though that's dry overnight and we'll do the decaling tomorrow okay carrying on with the uh, lantern <coughs> uh, lightning thing sorry not lantern and do the decals as you can see some of them are or oh, they are very small there's an even smaller one in there which I don't know if I'll get on so what I use basically one of these sort of closing tweezers just hold them while I put them in water just off a shot I've got one of these wax melters that I use with a little glass dish and some hot watering um, I also will need a brush to wet the surface that's an old one and we'll get round to um, put some micro sole set on afterwards whichever the second one is so I tend to uh, dip them in the water for a few seconds and I'll leave them resting on top if they're small enough I was going to get some clean <coughs> kitchen towel but we've already got some also this bit obviously when it rotates it uh, rubs so I've just got to touch that bit up later I've not used Edward's decals before so I've, I don't have much idea how long they take to start floating floating free. Right, this first one it's got to go just up here just above this bit sticking out just 
uh, I always go backwards because my camera's around the wrong way actually so that's why I tend to go the wrong way okay Let's see and then I get my very my pointy tweezers a little nudge that's loose make sure I get it the right way round I think I'm going to have to wet the surface for this one but that goes just in front of a panel line that they've drawn that isn't there so I'm going to put it just there of this is very tiny you can see this guys so like that that's number one oh, that's sort of sitting for a second I'll cut out number two as you can see the uh, decals are numbered on here like most kits as you can see number three is a tiny one at least I give you more than one again So while that's soaking, we'll see if we can just roll that down like that. These of course will be sealed in with some uh, matte varnish. Number two, that goes that way up. Handed here. Surface tension of the water keeps pulling it back on. Got it. And that goes right. In. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Memory card was full. Uh, downloaded a load of stuff off of it yesterday, but forgot to erase it. Okay we're off we've put two on haven't we okay let's put let's put number four on next is this one here little bit of silvering on that one so got rid of that excess water off that goes just there that again for a moment to dry off 
Number five. neighbour off to work, which I'll be doing tomorrow. shot now though. You probably won't. So it'll be a bit more camera wobble now. to the tweezers. That's got him off that. Short a bit of text at the top. And that goes right on the bottom of that access hatch there. If these were bigger decals I would be wetting the surface. For people say you're not soaking the surface. Put those on. What's next? Radiation sticker. Oops, a bit of water on there, that's not good on the decal. Oh, yes, yeah, number three. Before we ruin those, get another bit of water on there. Right, let's try and do this really, really tiny little one. Truth be known, these tweezers could do with a good clean. So I lost that one. Where did that go? There it is. Is that it? Pinned out the tweezers somewhere. Got another one out there. strange did you see where it went I'm bugger if I did try again thank you for the spare with Edward Edward very small brush we'll wet the surface for this one so I'm going to try and just ease it straight on three hands here That's it. except to put it on the wrong bit as 
Should have been there. Now some of these have to go on the other side as well. So the radiation ones, all the yellow ones, are on one with caution something or other written on it. I saw it ain't that good. Seven. It's just sucking it down. When I get that kind of thing happening, yeah, see, unbelievable. decals on such a small thing. Anyway guys, you've seen a good portion of this. I will stop it here and I'll show you it when it's finished. Okay, so here yeah, we're going. Like that. The lightning pod all uh, deckled up. Come on old toe focus, you can do it. There we go, that's one side. And we've got a few more on there. And of course the same for the hazard warnings on that side. Alright guys, I'm going to give them a very light coat of micro salt set. Which one's the red one? And uh, leave them to dry and then I'll give them a flat coat and I'll show you the finished product. There you go, that's what I used, Microsol. That's the second part. If I'm using, um, if I'm doing big decals, depples, then I'll use the first one, which is the blue one, which is micro set, which helps it conform a bit better, um, stick a bit better and this one softens it and draws it down into any, that one, draws it down into any um, panel lines or softens it over raised detail. Horrible bottles, they fall over. Hence why there's not much in there. I've knocked them over so many times. Okay, I thought I'd actually give this another gloss coat and then try giving it a wash over just to pick out the panel line. So I've just got some aqua gloss in here. Just helps through the decals. dry off so I can hold the other end. This the compressor. Right, that's that done. I'll leave that on there. And then I'll get back to you again later. Okay, when I was actually doing this bit today, I actually forgot to speak. This is uh, one of uh, Phil Flory or Flory Models 
clay based washes uh, obviously in the water and solution really really good and easy to use these you just slop it on much as you like because you can rub it off when it's dry uh, with just a dry paper towel or if you want to take more off you can dampen a paper towel and it will take even more off um, I'm putting it over a gloss coat so it will just take it off and leave it in the panel lines and around any details um, you do actually see me doing this in a minute um, if you put it on a semi mat then it will kind of act as a weathering wash as well and it will grind into the into the varnish um, here you can see me I've just got a dry piece of kitchen towel and I'm just gently rubbing it off and it leaves it all in the um, in the panel lines and around the latches and any details um, yes yeah, so I forgot to move the camouflage putty which I'm not sure whether I like or not um, but it was a cheap version or I managed to get it cheap so it wasn't too much money if I wasted I just also sprayed the silver on the lysander so I came back to finish this off and I finish off in a minute using some Winder & Newton um, matte acrylic varnish Fin 5050 with water and I think it's one of the best ones so you just saw me lick it a little bit there because there's a little stubborn bit that wouldn't come off but uh, yeah recommended Mr Flory's washes uh, you can put them over any sort of surface without worrying about damaging it you know but right, you can see the skis for the Lysander because I was too lazy to move them and uh, yeah they're all painted up silver now Sealing it with the varnish here, and obviously seals in the wash, don't you rubbing it off with your fingers. And uh, this is just about the end of the video. So I'd like to thank you all for uh, watching it. If you stuck with me for over 38 minutes, I couldn't believe it was, um, took that much video. I didn't feel like it, and I don't know how well did you have a little bit out. So, anyway, guys, thanks to my subscribers, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Another it says at the end, infrequent video. Stay safe everybody and happy modeling.